guys, I got the COVID shot. Get strong. Get strong. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you my own experience getting the COVID-19 vaccine, what symptoms I got, and how I feel now. And then I'm also gonna share with you some of my own research that I've done on the safety of the, of the vaccine, because I know a lot of you are wondering how safe it is, the vaccine came out pretty quickly, why is that? So I'll share with you what I've learned in my own research. I'm also gonna show you a video clip of me actually getting the vaccine. And make sure you hit the subscribe button down below if you wanna see how I live a healthy lifestyle while working full time as an ICU nurse. Also, if you're wondering why I'm in my exercise room, it's cause I just got done with a workout. We're gonna talk in here today cause it's quiet. All right, I'm gonna set you down now and let's talk. Okay, so real quick you guys, I am an ICU nurse who works full time at a local hospital down the road from my house. It's a level two trauma center. So it's a fairly big hospital, it's about 500 beds. And I am an ICU nurse, but I mainly work with open heart patients in the ICU. So I help recover them and get them better. So I don't work in the COVID unit all the time. I work there sometimes to help out or, or I'll float in there to help prone a patient or I'll just go in there and help here and there. But I don't work in the COVID unit all the time. I mainly work in the open heart unit. I'm thinking about doing a future video on what it's like to work in the COVID unit and what it's like to be an ICU nurse in the COVID unit. So if you're interested in that kind of a video, please comment down below. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do that on YouTube. So I am gonna be calling them and finding out how much information I can share on this platform. Um, but I'm hoping I can share my story, my journey with, with COVID, my experience with COVID being an ICU nurse and working with COVID patients. By the way, happy new year, you guys. Happy 2021. By the time this is uploaded, it'll be 2021. I am filming it still right now in 2020, a few days before the new year. So I got the Pfizer vaccine about a week ago now. And I am gonna tell you about my experience getting it and the symptoms that I got. But I wanted to first start off with some general information about what I've learned about this vaccine. Um, I got the Pfizer one, but the other one is called the Moderna vaccine. They're very similar. If you wanna check out the differences between the two, you can go to the CDC website. They have a very clear explanation on both of them. They're, they're the same vaccine, just two different companies, um, and they're slightly different in terms of, I think the Pfizer one, ages 16 and older can get it, and the Moderna one, I think it's ages 18 and older. And then I think the only other difference is the booster vaccine or the second vaccine you have to get. I think the Pfizer one is a 21 day gap, and the Moderna one, I think is a, you have to wait 28 days for the second vaccine. So the FDA approved the Pfizer vaccine on December 11th, 2020, and they approved the Moderna vaccine on December 18th, 2020. So there was a huge study that was conducted. Uh, there was tens of thousands of participants in this study on the COVID-19 vaccine, and it was published by the New England Journal of Medicine. I will link that article down below. It's a pretty easy read, but this was the main study clinical trial of the vaccine to make sure that it was safe and effective. So this study concluded that both the Pfizer vaccine and the Moderna vaccine, so the COVID-19 vaccine, it was 95% effective in warding off uh, the COVID-19 virus. So the FDA looked at this clinical trial and they looked at many other clinical trials that were being conduct conducted on the COVID-19 vaccine. So they determined that the benefits far exceed the risks uh, for its intended use, and that the drug is effective based on huge substantial evidence. So many people are asking, why did the COVID-19 vaccine come out so quickly? It came out so fast, so is it that safe? Because normally vaccines, it takes 10 years, I hear, to develop, and this one took one, actually less than one year, I think it took 10 months for this COVID-19 vaccine to come out and get approved by the FDA. There are a few reasons for this. So I will link the articles down below again on the ones that I read of why this vaccine came out so fast and why it's still safe. But I'll just give you the rundown real quickly. So there are a few different reasons. So the first one is that the coronavirus is not a new virus to us. Scientists say there are hundreds of different coronaviruses out there and scientists have been studying them for over 50 years. So like the SARS outbreak in 2002, uh, that was caused by a strain of a coronavirus 
virus. The MERS outbreak in 2012 in the Middle East was also caused by a strain of the coronavirus. So when they came out with the MERS vaccine a few years ago, uh, that is a very similar vaccine to the COVID-19 vaccine that they came out now. So that MERS vaccine laid the foundation for this COVID-19 vaccine. So because scientists had already been studying the coronavirus for over 50 years, they had already become familiar with it. They were familiar with the structure and they were familiar with the life cycle of the coronavirus. So then in January 2020, just a few days after the first outbreaks in China of COVID-19, researchers uncovered the viral sequence of the virus that causes COVID-19. I'll put the, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll put the uh, name of the virus that causes COVID-19 here. And they had uncovered the viral sequence of it. The scientists and researchers were already super familiar with this virus, like way at the start of the pandemic. So another reason why this virus went so quickly in developing was funding. So because of the pandemic, and it's a basically a worldwide emergency, there was tons of money being thrown at developing the vaccine. And vaccines are super, super expensive to make and to develop and to research. And so with all this money being thrown in the pot, they were able to go faster because they, they could afford it. And then with all these advances in technology now that we have in developing vaccines, it just made it go even faster. But from my research, of course, do yours, and I'm not a doctor or an immunologist or anything like that, from what I can conclude from my own research, there's three, pretty much three main reasons why this vaccine came out so quickly. Um, number one, researchers and scientists had already known about coronavirus for a long time and they had mapped out the, the virus that causes COVID-19 pretty quickly when the pandemic first hit. Number two, funding, lots of money thrown at funding the development of vaccines, so that went by fast. And then number three is all the technology that we have nowadays to develop the vaccines versus all the other ones in our past, you know, took a while to develop because we just didn't have the technology to develop them. I'm sure there are many more reasons why this uh, vaccine was developed so quickly, but uh, in my mind and from the research I did, those are the main three reasons. Okay, so let's get into my experience on getting injected with the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. Just so you guys know, uh, these vaccines, you don't get injected with the actual virus or you don't even get injected with a dead virus. You actually get injected with the mRNA of the virus or messenger RNA which is basically the virus's genetic material. So our immune system can be in contact with the genetic material of the virus and start recognizing it. So we can start developing antibodies against the virus in the future. So I think it reassures people to know that you're not actually getting injected with the COVID-19 virus. Um, and so you can't get sick from it. The other misconception too with the mRNA vaccine, it does not mess with your own DNA. Even though this is like a, the virus's DNA, it doesn't mess with your own DNA. It is pretty fascinating to look into how your how the immune system responds to mRNA. So I'll link another uh, article down below so you can read it. There is a really cool YouTuber who's a new doctor uh, who started her YouTube channel a couple years ago. She does a really good explanation on the COVID-19 vaccine and how it works with the mRNA. So I'll also link her video in the description box below. Okay, so like I said, I got the vaccine about a week ago. And I got it at the end of my shift because I was pretty nervous about getting it. I didn't want to get it at the beginning of my shift and like feel lousy the rest of the shift because I, I was hearing like kind of some horror stories about some people like getting chills and aches and joint pain. And while those symptoms can happen, they're pretty rare. Um, so I was pleasantly surprised when I got the shot, I got it in my right arm because I wanted to not favor it. I wanted to be able to like move it around because I guess that helps with um, inflammation and pain at the site if you move it around and I'm right-handed. So I got the injection and barely felt anything like, I didn't even know, I felt like a tiny little pinch and I was like, wait, are you doing it? Like, that's it? So normally with the flu shot, when I get the flu shot, I'm very sensitive. I have very sensitive skin and I feel it and it hurts. And so I was expecting that, but like way more intense and it was just a little tiny pinch. And I don't know if it was, I didn't feel that much because I was expecting so much worse, but that was a big relief. Uh, before. I should back up. So before they actually did the vaccine, they had me just fill out a couple pieces of paper, my name, social security, if I ever had any reactions to other vaccines, um, do I have any allergies, 
and then they, they brought me into this big like auditorium uh, room of our hospital and they had like different tables set up for different stations of uh, giving the vaccine so I think there was like five different tables you could go to to get your vaccine and then after you get the vaccine you get like a little vaccination card that says uh, the date of when you got your shot and then uh, they have you sign up for your second vaccine so you do need two vaccines uh, you do need two vaccines for the uh, Moderna vaccine also. It'll be interesting to see how it goes on the second vaccine, speaking of, because I hear that if you have some symptoms on the first one, those symptoms might be a little bit worse on the second one. Now back to me, <laughs> um, I just felt a tiny little pinch and nothing more than that. My arm didn't even hurt. I was like, this is, this is weird. And then they kind of put you in a different area of that room just to watch you for 15 or 20 minutes, just to make sure you're not gonna have like any immediate bad reactions, that you don't get go into like anaphylaxis or like you don't have any immediate reactions. So I was totally fine. Went back to work for the last half an hour <laughs> of my shift and it was all good hunky dory got home like oh got the covid shot da, da, da. told my husband i was like oh, i didn't feel like anything this is so weird my arm doesn't even hurt you know whatever and then i woke up the next morning to go to work again and oh my gosh my arm hurt so bad i don't know why there's such a delayed reaction for the soreness to set in but man, I couldn't even like, I couldn't even lift my arm to get the gloves in the glove box at work when I got to work. And as the day went on, it got progressively worse. So by about three in the afternoon, like my arm was dead. Like I, I could only lift like, like this much. And then, but then it started to feel better that night. So the night after, and then the next day after that, it was, it was fine. I maybe a tiny bit of soreness, but it was pretty much back to normal. So. The severe soreness kind of pretty much just lasted, I want to say, less than 24 hours after I got the shot, but it took a long time for the soreness to set in, and the actual injection didn't hurt at all. So it was just very strange, but I didn't have any body aches, I didn't have any chills, I didn't have any fatigue, um, I didn't have any other symptoms at all. I felt totally fine. And for the majority of my coworkers who got the vaccine, they all felt the same way. Um, I would say a lot of my coworkers didn't feel anything. They just felt that pinch and they didn't even get sore. So I was more on the rare side for getting like super, my arm getting super sore because a lot of my coworkers didn't even get sore. I know of one coworker out of, how many people have I talked to by now? Like 20 of my coworkers, 25 of my coworkers, one coworker got achy and got pretty, like joint pain. And um, she had to call in sick the next day for work. She was supposed to work the next day. So that's the only person that I know of that had kind of more of a moderate reaction to the vaccine. But she also told me that she has reactions to the flu shot too. So I don't know if her body just reacts to whatever, maybe whatever preservative or whatever they put in the vaccine itself, um, her body doesn't like. But for me, it was totally mild. <laughs> People were like texting me and messaging me. <laughs> They're like, let us know if you turn into an alien. <laughs> like, no, no, it's totally fine. Um, highly, highly, highly recommend that you all get the vaccine when it's available to you. Even if you get sick, like if you get the vaccine, you get the second one. And then if you, for some reason, do get sick with COVID, um, the severity of the illness in you won't be nearly as bad as if you didn't get the vaccine. So I thought that was interesting too. So either way, if you can get it, get it. Um, it's totally worth it. It's safe, it's effective. But of course, do your own research so you feel comfortable. But in my opinion, I think that it's very safe. I'm gonna trust the scientists. I'm gonna trust the super smart people that whose IQ is way through the roof, way higher than mine. I need this pandemic to end for my sanity, my emotional well-being, for my physical health. It is very hard at work. I have a really hard time right now coping with this whole coronavirus situation at work. Um, it's really hard, you guys, for ICU nurses to deal with COVID now. We're all burned out. We, we just, we're, we have to keep moving on. We don't have a choice, so we keep moving on, but it is really hard. And most of us healthcare workers feel that this vaccine is our answer to the end of this pandemic. And we would really appreciate your all's 
um, dedication also to help the, the greater good that if you feel like you can do it and you feel safe, get it, please, because we think this is our answer to the end of the pandemic and this is our answer to life getting back to normal and that all the death rates <laughs> slowing down. It's really been very difficult. This is the this is the most difficult year I've ever had as a nurse. I've been a nurse for 13 years, so that's saying something. And I've had a lot of difficult years uh, behind me, and this by far um, surpasses all of them. So again, if you if you're interested in what it's like to be an ICU nurse working with COVID patients, please comment down below. Um, and because I want to make sure it's worth my time calling you too and making sure it's okay with them that I do a video like that. Yeah. <laughs> Stay positive, stay happy, stay healthy. Happy New Year again. Happy 2021. I hope that it's better than 2020. I have to believe that it will be. I do plan on uploading one to two videos a week based on my work schedule because my work's kind of crazy some weeks and not as crazy other weeks. So it just depends on that. But I love making videos for you guys. I love making uh, videos that have to do with workouts, nutrition, healthy living stuff lifestyle stuff. Yeah, so I really enjoyed doing that. I hope this video helped you out in your own understanding of the COVID vaccine. I know it's a scary time. I know it's scary to get it, but um, so far I'm okay. <laughs> and uh, looking forward to that second uh, vaccine that I'll get on January 14th at 5.30 p.m. <laughs> And I'll let you guys know how that goes. I'll do a second follow-up video on how I feel after the second shot. All right, and that's it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time and always remember to be kind to yourself.